partial derivative of a function f with respect to a particular independent variable may be computed by treating all other variables as constants and differentiating with respect to the chosen variable. For example, let's say z is a function of the independent variables x and y. To evaluate the partial derivative of z with respect to x, we evaluate the function with respect to x by treating y as a constant. And to evaluate the partial derivative of z with respect to y, we evaluate the derivative of our function f with respect to y while treating x as a constant. Let's illustrate how this works with an example. Find the first partial derivatives of the function f of xy equals e to the x cosine of y plus e to the y sine of x. Here we have our function of the two independent variables x and y and we're given that the function consists of the product of e to the x and cosine of y plus the product of e to the y and sine of x. Let's start off by finding the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. So to evaluate this, we just take the partial with respect to x of e to the x cosine of y plus e to the y sine of x. Because we're evaluating the partial with respect to x, cosine of y is treated as a constant and e to the y is treated as a constant. All variables except for the differentiating variable x are treated as constants. What this means is when we distribute the differential operator between both terms, since we are treating y as a constant, since y is treated as a constant, we could pull it outside of the differential operator. So we have the partial with respect to x of e to the x and the partial with respect to x of sine of x. Now since this is now only a function of x, this first term is equivalent to the ordinary derivative of e to the x with respect to x. For this second term, since we're taking the derivative of sine of x with respect to x, and that is the only remaining variable in our function, this is no different now than taking the ordinary derivative of sine of x with respect to x. This means that the partial with respect to x of z this ends up being cosine of y e to the x plus e to the y sine of x or just written in a slightly different order we now have the partial derivative of our function f with respect to x being equal to e to the x cosine of y plus e to the y sine of x. Let's now find the partial derivative of our function with respect to y. Since we are evaluating the partial derivative with respect to y, 
we are going to treat all other variables except for y as if they are constant. For this example, that other variable is x. So we have two expressions that we could treat as constants. e to the x is constant with respect to y when we differentiate, and sine of x is a constant with respect to y as we differentiate. So we can distribute the differential operator. And since e to the x is a constant with respect to y, we can pull that in front. So this leaves us with the first term of e to the x times the derivative with respect to y of cosine of y. And for the second term, sine of x is a constant with respect to y. So we can pull that in front of the integral, and we have the partial with respect to y of e to the y. These are now just ordinary derivatives. So we have e to the x times the derivative with respect to y of cosine of y plus sine of x times the derivative with respect to y of e to the y. This becomes minus e to the x sine of y plus sine of x. And this is the partial derivative of f with respect to y. 